We want to use data to make better decisions. And to do that, we need tools to make the analysis. And trust me, we have to do a lot of analysis. Because when we do that, we get to the insights that then in the end lead to the decisions that improve our business and our products. Over the next three episodes, we will compare two popular tools, Google Analytics 4 and Amplitude. And we will look into how they enable teams to do three major use cases. First, understand the basic metrics. Second, create campaign reportings. And third, create audiences and segments to get a deeper understanding how the product and business works. Why do we compare Google Analytics and Amplitude? Google Analytics is extremely popular and especially a lot of marketing teams use it. But with the introduction of Google Analytics 4 and the migration that you had to do with it, a lot of people are frustrated because they cannot find the kind of reports they were used to. Amplitude is used by a lot of product teams but now has added a lot of interesting new marketing analytics capabilities that enabled new use cases that you were before just doing in Google Analytics. Now it really makes sense to look at both of them and to see how you can do the same things in both tools. Let's dive into it. This is episode one, where we're covering the basic metrics. Let's have a look into basic metrics. What does basic metrics actually mean? Basic metrics means something that you use for your daily or weekly check-ins. These are the kind of dashboards or these are the kind of metrics that everyone in your company is interested in. And let's say the very active ones will usually come in the morning and open up the dashboard that shows the basic metrics. Because it gives you a feeling about how does the volume on our website change, so the visits on our website or the users in our application. It also gives you an idea if we see a drop in conversions. So I mentioned drop here because this is something that will definitely uh, alert everyone from us, but it can also be an increase in conversions, put it like this. But drop is very important for us to know because this is something where we have to act immediately. And it also enables us to see where the users are coming from to our website or to our application. Is there a significant change or is it basically like the same kind of sources that usually are providing us with new visitors. These kind of data is usually not something that we will use a lot to create new insights or to prepare decisions. It's more like checking in on a regular basis to see if there are new trends evolving, to see, okay, maybe we are steadily increasing traffic, to see, okay, we definitely see that, for example, organic search is, is picking up because like, we already invested in more SEO four or five months ago, and now we actually can see the results of the data. It's possible that these kind of reports will create a start to investigate further, but it's mostly like to be sure that everything is in order and everything is going in the right direction. This makes it so powerful. And this also makes it so powerful because it's for everyone in your company. For everyone in the company, this kind of dashboard is pretty much relevant because like it tells something about the business. Because of that, we need something like this in place so that in the end, like everyone has a bookmark link somewhere that they can just open up in the morning to check how the business is going. So let's see how we can achieve that in Google Analytics and how we can achieve that in Amplitude. So we will start out with Google Analytics. This is the demo account that Google Analytics 4 provides. So I'm using the demo account because like it has a rich set of data that I can use to show you all the different kinds of reports. And, but in the end, always keep in mind it's a demo account. So if you see some numbers that maybe look a little bit slightly different, you can simply ignore it because it's a demo set. When you open up Google Analytics 4, you have this new home view. And the home view is already something that is covering the core metrics. What we can see here are definitely core metrics. So we have the users, we have add to cards, we have e-commerce purchases, and we have key events. This might look a little bit different to you. Why? Because you can adapt this. So you can define what you want to see here. And this, for example, is something that I already configured for myself to see the relevant things that are relevant for me. And this makes it quite powerful because you can decide on the four important metrics that you want to see here when you just flip through and check on these. So like these up here give you an indication if they are like significant kind of changes. And here you can see it 
for the last seven days as pre-selected, but you can also change this now to different kind of time periods. It also gives you an idea about what's happening right now based on their real-time reporting. And then you get the shortcuts to pick up where you have left. So this is, of course, individual for everyone using it. So like it's, it shows the last report that they have checked. And here you can see other things like where are the session coming from, like the sources that we already said. Then we can check which kind of countries were the people coming from, especially if, let's say, you really run across uh, multiple regions and this is really important for you. This is definitely helpful to see. And then... We see the usage of our website, so to really see, okay, which kind of pages are most relevant in the last seven days. This is what I mean with, okay, we get an idea about the basic metrics, which we get here. This is useful. So the important part is like, how can we adjust that? In the end, of course, we have to customize it a little bit to our business. And I already showed you, like the major thing that you can customize in the home view is you can pick the four metrics that are most relevant for your business. The other thing is, so this is definitely what we can control about this dashboard. And this might be enough. So everything else here is based on your usage. So this is based on the usage, uh, which kind of report you're looking in. This is what Google thinks is relevant for you based on your behavior. This makes it a little bit problematic because if I really want to build a standardized company report, I have to rely on that it basically covers the things that are important for us in the company. Again. I can cover it here, which is good, but in the end, I cannot really build it for the whole page here. But we have other ways to do this. We also have as the report snapshot report. This is quite similar to the one uh, that we just saw before. It has right now, out of the box, has similar kind of insights. So we are looking into core metrics. We are looking into sources uh, of users. First here by channel grouping, then by medium. Then we look into countries and then we have user development over time and we even have some ret uh, retention information. This comes out of the box, but we want to adapt this. How can we do this? So we cannot do it here because like we are just looking at the moment at the Google Analytics 4 demo account and naturally I don't have admin access to that. Let's pick a different uh, account which I'm using where I have admin access. We have the report snapshot here. And now what I can do here, like I have now an edit button, and so you will see this as well when you're an admin, I can click it here, and now I can at least decide which kind of cards I want to see. So for example, I could say, okay, real time is definitely not something important for us, so I take it out, insights maybe also not so important for us. In the end, it helps me to decide which kind of reports or which kind of insights I want to see. The only thing which is at least like missing for me is I cannot really go fully deep into this. To let's say, okay, in the overview, I want to do the same thing that I did at home. I would just want to adapt the different kind of metrics that I want to show here. That's not possible. What I can always do is I can add different other cards. There, there are plenty of them. So, uh, for example, when we are interested in, let's say, e-commerce, for example, you could say, okay, we, we take total revenue. We add this, and then we have the total revenue here as well. The thing what you cannot really do is you cannot really change the cards. This is basically what comes out of the box. You still have a way to get your own card created. It's a little bit not so straightforward, so I give you a quick glance how to do this. And so what you can always do is like you go, let's say, in a relevant report, like, for example, we want to get something about traffic acquisition so then we can go here and then we can create a new card and here we can define the new card because like right now we are in the we are in the traffic acquisition thing so i can only see dimensions here for this type of report and i can also see the metrics here so it's not really super flexible to pick from all dimensions and all metrics so you have to find the right original report then you create a new card and once you save the card here to this kind of report it then becomes available in the report snapshot as well. And so there you can build everything. So this is how you can cover basic metrics in GA4 so that everyone in the end can bookmark this link here and then can always come here every day and can check the important stuff, which is relevant for them. All right, let's have a look how we can achieve the same thing in Amplitude. When we go into Amplitude, so this is also, this is a demo set project. So where in the end, like we have a website that is offering food delivery. So people can go in here, can order, can order food and get it delivered, can check out different kinds of restaurants, can check out different kinds of meals and so on. When we go into Amplitude, we also get what's happening in your product kind of view and which in the end is quite similar to the home screen that we already know from GA4. 
we can change this already. We have really have the possibility to add a chart. So we could now go into create a new chart and then can do the full configuration that we need. Here we definitely have a good possibility to build everything that we need to show this to all to all users. And we can even create different kind of these kind of home pages. And then we can set this here that everyone who logs into Amplitude will immediately see this, which is really helpful to do and gives us a lot of possibilities. Because if I'm missing something, I can go in here, create a new chart. Then I have different kind of charts that I can create. And based on that, I can just place them here. Gets things that really coming out of the box, but you also have the possibility to adapt things as well. This is like the first possibility what you can do. But there's a second possibility, which maybe gets you started even a little bit better. What Amplitude just introduced is something which they call the web analytics space. This is a pre-built space for your project. Pre-built means like you have specific kind of reports out of the box and you have specific kind of visualization out of the box. So the whole setup is pretty straightforward. And the only thing what we have to do is we have to quickly configure it. And so what we have to do is we have to tell Amplitude what is our page view event. The reason behind that is that you can send any kind of event into Amplitude. But you don't even have to have a significant page view event. It depends a little bit on how you implement Amplitude. If you, for example, just add the JavaScript SDK to your website, then you get page views out of the box. But then you still should tell, still have to tell here which kind of page view event you want to use. But it can also be that you configure your own page view event, which is definitely possible. What we have to do is here we have to tell Amplitude, okay, what is our page view event? So in our case, for example, it's page viewed. Let's save it. Talking about the configuration, we can do even other things. Here, for example, we can define where we can get our marketing campaign information from. So we are using the UTM campaign parameter. So we can just use this. If you use a different one, you can just pick it here. One of the real benefits of Amplitude is it's highly configurable. Whatever kind of setup you have, you're not bound to send everything that Amplitude understands it just this way, which is often like with GA the case. Now here you can use any kind of information that you have and just assign it here. We could even already define a conversion funnel. When someone is viewing a restaurant and then the next one would be like, we have order submitted and then we have order confirmed, which is like a core funnel of every kind of delivery app. And so we can save this already. We can use it in the reports we will have a look into in a second. And then we can even add a goal. You might already know this from GA that we can define a specific kind of event that serves as our goal. So we have order confirmed here and we are interested in the Unix and we like to break this down goal by, by the campaign. And so this is already the configuration. So it's pretty straightforward. And with this in place, we now get a really powerful out of the box reporting where we can see we have the visitors here then we have the different kind of marketing channels. We might be also interested, okay, we want to break it down by campaigns. And then we even get the breakdown by campaigns where we can then see, okay, how many visitors do we get from here? So this is definitely super interesting to quickly analyze where are people coming from. And then we can also check quickly on the conversions. So here we already have our first conversion funnel. We can see, okay, restaurant viewed, order submitted, order confirmed. And so this is also like extremely helpful to quickly see, okay, how we are actually converting at the moment. So for example, if order confirmed is going up from day to day, it is definitely an indicator that we have some kind of problem here. These are the two ways how you can achieve a basic metric overview in Amplitude. Again, to recap, so either use the web analytics space, which we have here, which at the moment is in beta. So if you don't see it, so reach out to your account manager and ask them about it. The web analytics space is a great place to set up a basic report for your whole company. If you have the time and if you have the knowledge, what you can do is like you can build and configure the perfect home screen and the perfect basic metrics uh, screen here on the home page by just picking the right kind of charts that you want to show. And if they are not there, you can just create a new one to really customize the things that you want to see on the home page. So everyone who's opening up Amplitude will see the core metrics, uh, which is really nice. These are the basic metrics and how we can present them for everyone in our company who likes to check in how our product or how our business or our website is doing. And we showed how you can do it in Google Analytics 4 and we showed how you can do it in Amplitude. In the next episode, we go a step further and we look into how we can analyze campaign performance within Google Analytics 4 and in Amplitude.